Rodents eating away at vehicles across the country, causing warning lights to go off and even malfunction. A new lawsuit just filed contends millions of drivers are effective here. They just don't even know it yet. Our I-team has been tracking people who say they've had this very problem for months now. Consumer investigator Randy Mack is here in the studio with news about the nation's largest automaker. That's right. It affects a lot of people and it's a lot of money. Now, back in March, we told you about a lawsuit filed against Honda for using eco-friendly material that experts say attracts rodents. Well, now a lawsuit filed right here in Los Angeles suggests that there could be tens of millions of defective Toyota vehicles and drivers left on their own to pay for thousands of dollars in repairs. Tired of paying for repairs to his Toyota truck, Al Heber's getting creative. I've tried a lot of different things, uh, from trapping them to putting cayenne pepper. He says rodents, in this case squirrels, are gnawing away at the wiring inside his truck. I have placed mothballs in the vehicle. Finally, right now, we're, we're using cats. But nothing has worked. Completely chewed in half. The soy-based coating used to protect wires from the elements, he says, is actually attracting them causing displays on his truck to malfunction. Right now, the fuel gauge, anti-lock brakes, four-wheel drive, and check engine light. Recurring problems, he says Toyota will not cover under his warranty. He's out $2,200 so far. I feel like it's a warranty issue because the materials are poor quality. Heber's attorney, Brian Kavitek, has filed a class action lawsuit against Toyota, claiming many 2012 to 2016 Toyotas are using soy-based wiring known to be a problem. While rodents have a documented history of damaging vehicle wiring, he says the soy makes the wiring a food source. It may have started out as a good idea, an eco-friendly idea. It, it's just ill-conceived. Our I-team first uncovered reports of this problem in March. Rodents chewing through wires, worrying drivers. I am concerned for other people. At that time, only Honda was facing a class action lawsuit. But Cabotex says that Honda lawsuit should have been a wake-up call to Toyota. You don't make the wires out of a substance that's edible. A consumer purchases a car, they don't know that this is a potential problem. We see ground squirrels, we see, we see mice, we see rats. Mechanic Mark Bushy says it's not just Toyotas using soy wire coating, though many of his repairs are, including this one. We've been pretty busy. <laughs> a repair that can run up to 1500 bucks each time. The I-team reached out to Toyota about the soy wiring. The company responded, we declined to comment. They have not yet responded to Heber's lawsuit either. Uneasy about driving his own truck, Heber feels it's on Toyota to fix this problem for its customers. I don't think I could sell this vehicle this way. Heber's attorney does not know how many vehicles Toyota has produced with the soy wiring, but the company sells about 10 million new vehicles every year. Now, the attorney says that it's possible this lawsuit could expand to other years and even other manufacturers using the soy wiring. Now, our consumer team has helped viewers recover more than $1.4 million. So if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, I've got your back. Call us at 818-520-TIPS or fill out our form at NBCLA.com slash Randy.